Entire radicals and mixed radicals. An entire radical would have no coefficients, so there's only a radicand. A mixed radical, if you were to simplify an entire radical, um, you would get a mixed radical with a coefficient out front. So just a reminder how to simplify, you would find two numbers that multiply to eight and one has to be a perfect square. So we're gonna choose four and two, then actually square root the four. So square root of four is two, and this stays underneath the radical as the radicand. What we're gonna do in example one, convert the following mixed radicals to entire radicals. We're used to simplifying, but we're gonna do the reverse of that. So we're gonna look at um, Example one and two, just how to do this again with numbers. This is a review of grade 10. So if I wanna put the four back underneath the radical sign, I need to square it to put it underneath there. So four squared times three. And then we're going to simplify that. So we get 16 times three equals the square root of 48. So let's just write down what we did. So we square, the coefficient and write it with the radicand. We'll look at example two here as well as it has only numbers in it as well. If this time it is a cube, we're going to cube the coefficient rather than square it. So when I put this underneath a cube root sign, I'm going to take the three. So when I move that underneath there, it's gonna now be cubed. And now I'll simplify underneath the radical. So I have 27 times two. So I have cube root 54. Don't forget to write the little index number in there as well.